In this video, I'm going to show you how to set your Scala as the audio device inside Reaper. This means that we'll be able to record inputs through the Scala into Reaper and listen back to what's playing from Reaper through either headphones or speakers connected to our Scala. Please make sure that you have your Scala connected to your computer via USB and powered on. And then open Reaper. Go to Options and Preferences. In the menu on the left hand side, you want to find audio and then device. On a PC, set the audio system to ASIO and then select Focusrite USB ASIO. On a Mac, select your Scala in the audio device drop down menu. You're able to change your sample rate just here and you can also adjust the block size, which is more commonly known as buffer size. The buffer size is the time that's given to your software to process and play back the contents of your session. And when I say the contents of your session, I mean the audio and MIDI tracks, plugins and effects in this session. The benefit of using a low buffer size is that you get a lower recording latency. In other words, you get less of a delay between what you're playing or singing and hearing it back in the headphones. The downside of using a low buffer size is that you give your software less time to process the contents of your session. And this can lead to audio dropouts and glitches on playback. The benefit of using a higher buffer size is that you give your software more time to process the content in your session, meaning that you're far less likely to experience audio dropouts and glitches on playback. The downside of setting a higher buffer size is that you get a higher recording latency. However, we'll be tackling the issue of recording latency by using something called direct monitoring, which we'll explain later if you choose to view the recording tutorials. For this reason, we recommend that you use a high buffer size, like 512, which means that you're far less likely to experience audio dropouts and glitches when listening back to your audio than if you had a lower buffer size. Your Scala is now set up as your audio device in Reaper. We'll now show you how to start creating music using your Scala inside Reaper.